today, there are a whole lot of people out enjoying the beach, enjoying the good weather, and a three-day weekend. Around this time tomorrow, Ala Moana Beach Park will turn from this to this. Thousands of lanterns illuminating the water with messages remembering loved ones we lost. And tens of thousands of people filling the beach to watch this annual tradition take place. Alina Lee has a preview. The Shinyo Lantern Floating Ceremony will celebrate its 25th anniversary on Memorial Day. It's all-encompassing for people who have experienced loss and who are suffering. And not just people, but this earth. Performers and organizers have been setting up and preparing for the past week. To try to express that in a visual way and in terms of sounds and music as well was difficult but an honor and I just hope that people feel something beautiful because of it. We're doing sound checks. We are testing everything, making sure everything works for tomorrow so that we can make it appear as seamless as possible. We're just wrapping up a rehearsal now with the Taiko group. Producers say 2024 ceremony will be more immersive and especially meaningful following the Maui wildfires. In various ways, we'll be incorporating Maui, where we have a new lantern. This is the first year to have a different lantern and to have a lantern dedicated to this earth. It represents prayers for the oceans, the heavens, the land, and all living things and spirits. Unlike last year, there are no back walls on the stage this year, so they'll be able to see clear all the way to the ocean for the first time. For those looking to float a lantern out to sea, you can pick one up at the Lantern Request Tent from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Beach Park on Monday. Several hundred volunteers and staff will be there to help. With 45 to 50,000 people appearing here, the uh, Lantern Festival, which is such a beautiful spiritual and cultural event, I want to make sure that everybody is safe, for one thing, and make sure that Her Holiness um, uh, doesn't get disrupted during the ceremony. Some people might even be camping out later tonight, so um, come as early as you can, try and find parking. If you can find a way to um, walk here, walk here would be a lot better. Thousands are expected to have their sights on this open stage before setting afloat 6,000 lanterns bearing remembrances, prayers, and affirmations at sunset. For more information, go to KHON2.com. Alina Lee, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. The ceremony starts tomorrow at 6.30, and the lanterns will be floated at around 7. If you can't make it to the ceremony in person, we will broadcast it live on KHON, KHI, and the CW. The